In any given population, about 12% are children under 5. But in 15 years, they're the entire future. If you want to see a better Cambodia in 15 years, invest on children because that promises a better future, for sure. My name is Tarange. I oversee health programs in Cambodia, mainly the targeted child nutrition program. We built a health center last year, and now we are seeing the results of it already. And the old facility was only open three days a week, but the new facility is open 24 hours, seven days a week. Yesterday, the first baby was born. We talked to the midwife, and she's very happy that she has facilities which she didn't have before. Here in Cambodia, it's a very tangible, and I see a little help can make a big impact. And so there's no question about whether the facility is really helpful or not. It's obviously yes. Mothers want the best for their children. They want their children to be healthy. They want their children to have an education. They want their children to live a quality life. It's great to watch and see the look on a family's face when they've got a new water filter that they work together with Samaritan's Purse staff to build, and they're proud of it. They're proud that they have been a part of the solution. hundred million shoe boxes. That's a hundred million times God has given us an opportunity to touch a child for the name of His Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. There are a hundred million shoe box gifts collected, but it comes down to the one. The one child receiving one gift, receiving one opportunity to come to know Jesus. Thank you. Gracias. Thank you. I love you. What's the best? It's something God has done, and we want to give Him the glory. I remember a kid in Bosnia that didn't have a coat, and it was wintertime, and we were in a school, and the windows were blown out, and it was cold. His box had a coat in it. The Lord is, is mobilizing His people. It's child to child, it's person to person, it's church to church. It's a simple project. Churches love it because this is a tremendous opportunity for evangelism. And we ask families, as you pack a box, put that box in the middle of your living room and pray. Delivering millions of shoeboxes every year is not an easy task. How do you distribute a million anything? We've done it by plane, by boat. Camels, donkeys. Helicopters, and then see them just up on people's heads. Canoes, river boats. And so the churches are giving the boxes and we're distributing them through the churches. So whenever those boxes arrive, trust me, it is Christmas for the kids when those boxes arrive. We need more churches, more individuals, more volunteers. I want the children of the world to know, I want their parents to know that God loves them, He hasn't turned His back on them, He cares for them, and He wants them to be with Him in heaven. That's what it's all about. Absolutely, Samaritan's Purse, Operation Christmas Child, it's about evangelism. What about God's now, The Greatest Journey is a fantastic discipleship program that is an extension of the Operation Christmas Child program. It starts with a shoebox and ends up with a child with a Bible in their hand. Over 50% of the children that undertook the study gave their lives for the first time to Jesus Christ. We're not now just telling them that Jesus loves them and then pack up and leave, but now we are, we are staying for another 12 weeks in the villages to teach them about Jesus Christ. So, uh, you know, on a pastoral point of view, this is fantastic. I learned about God created heaven and earth. I learned more about Jesus' love for me. I learned Jesus is my friend. The Word of God would bring hope to what is hopeless, to bring light to what is 
filled with darkness. Children are not no longer turning to drugs, they're not no longer turning to lawlessness, but now can contribute towards nation building and make not only their community, but Papua New Guinea a better country and society.